Hey, I'm Steve. In this video, you'll learn how to modify your take profit and stop loss levels in Match Trader and how to measure the amount of risk you're willing to take and the amount of profit you're going to earn. Let's take a look at the chart. Now this is a trade that I set up a short time ago on the New Zealand and Swiss dollars. And let's have a look at the stop loss and take profit levels, how to modify those with the actual measured risk that you're willing to take. So this particular order has a two lot uh, size and to modify the take profit, uh, so let's start with the take profit. To modify the take profit, there's a couple of options here. We can click on the actual line and drag it. Top stop loss, uh, take profit and stop loss can be moved the same way. Or we can actually click on the edit button next to the take profit. And we can actually see here what uh, our take profit amount is going to be. Now by sliding, by sliding the line, we can now see I've just moved it from uh, five, let's see, 523 there now. Let's say I want to move it down to $400 take profit or you know maybe $200. We can also type in a value. Let's say I want to make $250 profit on this order. I can just type in the amount. Um, we can also hit the plus or the minus. But uh, I find it easier just to drag the take profit level to somewhere on the chart uh, before we've reached the uh, the next resistance level, which I would say is probably somewhere around the top of these candles. So we can lock in a profit before we actually reach the top of these candles. But I would like to make, say, $500. I can make it an even $500 just by typing in the amount. And we can see here that the line is just below the resistance level. Uh, now the same thing, hit save. The same thing for the stop loss level. We can just move the line or we can hit the edit button. And by doing this, we can actually modify the actual dollar amount that we want to risk as well. Say uh, on this $10,000 challenge account, if I'm willing to risk a maximum of say $300, I can type in minus 300 and that will actually move the line. And now we can actually adjust this as well. So maybe I don't want to risk 300. I might only want to make, yeah, I might only want to risk 150. Well, let's uh, have a look at changing the time frame and look for a support level on maybe a 15 minute chart. So here we can see that the stop loss is actually set at a pretty good level uh, anyway, below the uh, below the uh, support level on the M15 and also on the H1 and the H4 charts. So there's not really much uh, that I can do to actually modify this one to get a better spot for it, unless I want to reduce the risk. But um, to zoom in, to maybe the 15 minute chart, it'll give us a bit better of an idea how close we are to the actual line. So let's hit the modify button and we can slide this up a little bit to say I want to make it right at the bottom of the swing low and that would risk $225. But in this case, I think I would like to maybe see what it looks like if I risk $250. And I think that's a better location. So let's save there. And now I've got a $250 stop loss and my take profit is well, $499 at the moment, but let's change that back to 500. Slippage will come into this a bit as well. So the amount when it hits the target is not going to be exact, but let's say $500. So now all I do is monitor and see how this works out. If uh, at some point in the future, I get to the stage where I'm in profit and I want to move the take profit, uh, sorry, if I want to move the stop loss to break even, you can click on the line and just drag it up to the break even mark, or you can modify the same. We can change it here to say, 
you know, I won't be able to do it in this point, but you would type in plus 10, and that would lock in, say, $10, so that'd be a bit above the uh, break-even mark. Or you can just go plus one, which will lock in $1. But for now, let's leave it at minus 250 and see how this trade goes. So slightly um, in the negative at the moment, minus $34. Hope you found this uh, video useful and you've learned something about how to use Match Trader. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button and watch out for my future tutorials.